Dr. Leslie Shevline, and this is one of our technicians here, Tina, at Sacramento Animal Hospital. And we're going to go through what an annual exam on your kitty is going to be like here at Sacramento Animal Hospital. PD is not so willingly volunteered, but we're going to get started with him. The first step you're going to see when you come into our, our hospital is a technician will bring you into the exam room. Take your kitty's temperature, uh, check a heart rate, and make sure how things are going at home. Um, if you come into our lobby and you have a stressed out kitty and you feel concerned about being up there with all the big dogs, please don't hesitate to let us know because we'll do our best to get you into a room and not stress out your cat. Uh, one of the, the first things we're going to do when we come in here is take a look at your cat and kind of see how he or she is feeling here in the room. Uh, some of them come in and they're very happy, comfortable, say right, hello right away. Other kitties come in, they hide right under the chair. If we notice those things about your kitties, we can make some changes during that physical exam to make your cat as comfortable as possible. Because unlike their canine counterparts, oftentimes our cats come in and they're not as thrilled to be here as the average animal. Some of those things can include blankets on the table so it's not as slippery, uh, some towels to hide their head under, or even some sprays to make the room more calming to the kitty. So the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and get started by running our hands over our kitty patients. We're feeling for lumps or bumps and checking out how their coat looks, uh, how their body condition is, and things like that. If your kitty is too skinny or, or overweight, we want to be able to assess that with our hands, not just looking at the number on the scale. When I do a physical exam, I always start at the head and work my way down to the tail. We look at their eyes primarily. Oh, I know, it's tough. And we're checking for discharge or squinting or redness. Petey's eyes look beautiful, nice and green, and no, no inflammation or, or discharge. I'm going to feel around his chin and in front of his shoulder blades to feel for lymph nodes. If those are up or swollen, that might be a sign of infection or inflammation. We want to feel for those. There's also some back on his back legs that we'll run our hands down as well. Uh, we're going to check out the ears because we want to know if they look red or inflamed. If your kitty's been itching at them, we'll narrow you look for things like mites or infection. Uh, and peas look nice and clear. One of the next things we're going to look at, sometimes I save this for the end, depending on how our kitty feels about it, is we're going to go ahead and look inside Petey's mouth. We want to check for dental buildup, redness of the gums, bad breath, things like that. He's really going to not love this. So there we go. I'm able to look at both sides and hopefully evaluate the back of the throat. Good job, Pete. Yeah, that's a good kitty. So as we run our hands down, again, we've got those lymph nodes feeling for body condition, feeling for lumps and bumps. The next thing I do is take a listen to their heart and lungs. You're a good kitty. Yes, you are. Let's turn you this way a little bit. So we're going to assess for the heart rate and the rhythm. We're also going to listen for murmurs or any rhythm problems, like a heartbeat that's not beating regularly. As our kitties age, they can develop some of these problems, so keeping an eye on that every year will help us to decide if there's an issue we need to address. And if we do, we do have the capabilities to refer you to see a cardiologist for your kitty to investigate what could be causing that abnormal sound. Lungs as well. If your kitty is coughing or sneezing, a, a good thorough auscultation of the lungs will help us decide if there's something that we need to be concerned about. Good boy. Yes, you are. Next step is to palpate Petey's belly. What we're feeling for is abnormal sizes or shapes of organs, uh, any masses or um, pain on palpation. Petey's belly feels very normal. Very good. Again, those lymph nodes that live behind the knee are a good thing to take a look at and check out under that tail. Uh, if we kitties, we oftentimes have to trim their nails or they can get some ingrown nails. So it's a smart thing to take a look at the nails and the feet themselves. You look like you're doing just fine. So when we're done with that and we've deemed him a healthy kitty or if we find something we need to investigate, um, from here we can go ahead and do any sort of diagnostics, whether it be blood work or just taking him back for some routine vaccinations. Um, but Petey looks great and we hope to see you and your kitty here soon.